A new bill introduced by a congresswoman from the Lowcountry would decriminalize marijuana. News News' Lexi Moore is joining us live in studio. Lexi, this bill would put the power in the state's hands to determine if marijuana is legal. Yeah, that's right, Bernie. Carolyn Congresswoman Nancy Mace introduced the state's Reform Act bill earlier today, despite some criticism from her own party. I spoke with Mace as well as other low country state representatives on why this bill could benefit our state and our citizens. Congresswoman Mace wanting to decriminalize marijuana at the federal level. It truly is a nonpartisan issue. This is an issue that people want to see movement on. Um, Republicans and Democrats alike. It put the power of legality in the state's hands. It's the reason why there are 47 states like South Carolina that have some form of cannabis uh, allowed in their states. And so it, this issue is not going away. It would also allow federal release for 2,600 felons convicted of nonviolent cannabis only related offenses, except cartel members and agents. State Representative J.A. Moore says this will benefit minority communities here in the Low Country. Uh, here in Charleston, over uh, uh, African Americans are more than four times likely to be arrested because of cannabis related uh, stops. So uh, I'm looking at it from a criminal justice reform. While Mace received support for legalization, the South Carolina Republican Party released a statement opposing the bill, saying in part, Our party platform is clear. We support firm enforcement of existing laws against the abuse and distribution of controlled substances. And we opposed any effort to legalize the use of controlled substances, and that includes marijuana. Mace says she believes this bill is the turnkey in cannabis reform and hopes to see both Republicans and Democrats to work together to get it done. It's one thing to talk about on the campaign trail and I campaigned on this issue. It's another to actually do it and get it done. And so I'm asking Republicans and Democrats alike, put your money where your mouth is and let's go. The bill was filed today with five Republican sponsors and May says her next steps are seeking interest from Democratic sponsors in both the House and in the Senate. Reporting live in studio, I'm Lexi Moore, Kennel 2.